Hello everyone, I am Argama Witch and today I'm going to talk about doing hair textures in Vroid Studios. Well, uh, more or so I'm going to talk about different hair textures that you can make. I do it outside in Clip Studio Paint and I'm going to show you a bunch of different styles I've done. First we're going to make uh, an original one and I'm going to start with blue since all the hairstyles I did were blue. What I do is I pick a base color and then I pick um, a, a shadow that goes on the top and the bottom and then a light in the center and then I lower the opacity down. And I do this just to give a little bit of gradient and that's just something that I personally do. Uh, then I take a lasso tool and I start doing like shadow and highlights that I would expect to see um, in hair. I make sure it is inverted selected and then I fill it with a darker color, like gray. I use the overlay and then lower the opacity until it's like a dark blue. Uh, and you can keep it just like this, but usually I'll take a motion blur in order to stretch it out because hair strands, well there are multiple <laughs> hair strands and this is just how I shadow it. And you can see with the gradient on and off underneath. Uh, on top of doing the shadows, I also do some lights. I do a few layers of everything and just a couple strokes. I do the uh, motion blur again. And I know this might be going a little fast. If you want, you can slow it down later. And I do this as an overlay and lower the opacity. I don't want it super, super bright, but right about there seems to be good. Uh, and then I kind of like add uh, additional highlights. Now I'll usually do two or three hair textures per uh, model. Uh, and I'll do one with highlights and one without highlights. Uh, this one I did an overlay, lower the opacity, and then just used a smudge tool in order to drag it out so it's not as sharp on the edges. Um, and the reason that I do one with the highlights and without is because not all parts of the hair is going to have highlights. Now here I'm just fudging around with different colors and I liked how it came out really dark down here, but that's not where I'd want the dark, so I'd want it more at the top. So I readjusted it and kind of gave it a nice dark fade on the top, adjust my linear burn and opacity uh, to where I wanted it. I added some lights at the bottom, messed around with doing various overlays uh, until I stuck with the actual overlay. Um, I wanted something that was light but not uh, overly bright. And then I took uh, a white and just went straight across the center and this is going to give me uh, a white highlight. It's going to make the lights pop even more. I lowered the opacity and then I saved it as a PNG. And here you can see the other blue file, blue hair files I'd made. And we save it. And now let's go take a look at this over in Vroid Studio. Um, so what you do is you go to your layer, you right click, you import, and then you import your hair. Uh, this was pre-adjusted beforehand, but normally I'd readjust how all the strands look on the head. And here's like a roundabout. You can see how it gives it a multiple layer look. And, and it overall doesn't look too, too bad. It gives it nice depth and highlights. Uh, this is what a solid color one would look like, and although I don't see a need for this on this particular model, but you never know what you need. Here's another blue one that I've done. Actually, all of these are ones I've done, which have smaller highlights, bigger depth. This one's kind of more of a purpley one, but it has exaggerated uh, lines. This is my current hairstyle, which is more cell shaded. Uh, it doesn't have as much blurring. It's nice sharp edges. This one uses a texture overlay and has uh, many layers to it, so it gives it more depth. This one isn't bad, although I don't really care for this color per se. I, I would make it a little darker normally. This is a little neon for my tastes. But you can at least see what kind of style comes out from just doing this particular texture. Uh, this one focuses more on dark, so not so, many, so much in the lights. It doesn't look too bad. I, I kind of dig it. Uh, this one has some highlight streaks through it. You can see that that shows up through the hair. You can also adjust this uh, where the highlights show up later on. This is very similar to my own hairstyle except it has uh, white highlights. Mine does not. This is a paler blue. Kind of showing how it has 
uh, a shadow underneath that highlights where the normally it doesn't. I'm also trying to adjust, adding a little extra color, seeing you know what it looks like. So you need like you know like the little yellow and turn it into like a green. You know, you just you just gotta mess around with it a little bit. This one has a very very strong highlight and shadow look. Uh, not my personal favorite, but if you adjust enough, it'll look fine. This one kind of hides the highlights. So it's more just the based, uh, base shadow. And then back to our original. Now, um, I kind of like the way this one came out, again, because of the highlights and the shadowing of it. But you can really do anything you want for hair textures. So many people ask me, well, how do you do hair textures? Re it, anything. You can really do anything for hair textures. In fact, uh, let me show you, <laughs> let me show you uh, some silly things you can do, or at least a silly thing you can do. So we're going to go over here and I'm going to go grab a uh, color pattern, like, like meow, <laughs> like a nice red plaid. We're going to save this again as uh, PNG Boo -doo -doo. and let's import this in. This silly thing. And bam! <laughs> it's silly, but it, this just shows that you can do pretty much anything you want with hair textures. Uh, it's completely up to you. I've done so many different styles and I make a new hair texture uh, for every single model that I make unless specifically asked otherwise. Uh, but anyways, I hope this video has helped you out somewhat. Uh, if it has, please give it a like and share it. That really helps me out and helps the channel grow. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me below in the comments. And I will see you later. So bye!